Hey, 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 it's a beautiful day in Casino Mines, Atlanta. Man, do we have a bitchin' show for you today. Yes, sir, Bob. Today we'll be discussing a couple of issues that affect everyone in the world of online gaming. But first, some house cleaning. Um, there are two conferences coming up in September. Uh, the Budapest Affiliate Conference, or BAC, uh, held in um, Budapest. <laughs> And the European iGaming Congress, or EIG, held in Copenhagen um, the following week. Um, I'd like to be at both, but it ain't going to happen. Um, for several reasons. One, how in the hell am I supposed to take two weeks off from work? Uh, how in the hell am I supposed to take two weeks off from work to dick around in Europe? Hell, I already do that here. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Yeah, about the dicking around thing. <laughs> uh, well, not about getting strung out between two conferences. It's not a good thing. So I have to choose one or the other. Uh, the choice is the EIG. Yeah. Uh, why? Well, for one thing, I'm scheduled to speak there during the World Poker Congress, which is being held on the 17th. What am I going to talk about? Well, I'll be talking about operators or how operators can gain player trust. So, that'll be an interesting presentation, I hope. Some of the topics in a nutshell, and this, is not, and this not only pertains to the online casino business, but to any business that deals with the customer's, the customer's trust. Business ethics. If you are unethical, well, you don't belong in the business since this business relies on player trust. And if you're unethical, it will be exposed sooner or later. And well, <laughs> that's the end of your business. Right? <laughs> yeah. um, might as well go sell shoes or something or you know, some Asian imports or whatever. Another uh, topic I'll be discussing briefly is uh, mis uh, making mistakes. Uh, you're going to make them right so be prepared for that don't view mistakes as something totally negative since we only improve uh, via trial and error if you fear mistakes um, go find something else to do because in this business they are unavoidable when you make a mistake admit it admitting mistakes makes us human right and it pulls us away from being so defensive um, so you screwed up a bonus promo and uh, you're several tens of thousands of dollars in the hole. Well, um, raise your hands and say, ooh, <laughs> I effed up. Sorry about that. Um, how can we make it up? you got to be shitting me. That's business, not denials and dodging self-inflicted wounds. I'm also going to discuss player issues or players' needs a little. Um, you must be in tune with the player's needs in order to survive in this dynamic and competitive environment. And I'm not talking about bonus offers. Players don't need that crap. Say no. what? Uh, they need safety. The players need to know that their private information is private. The casino software is solid and trustworthy. Dependability. Players need to know that the casino operation will be responsive and react positively, positive, positively to any issues. Players need to be assured that the casino operation will be there tomorrow. Honesty. The casino needs to be upfront and fair when it comes to terms and conditions. It should not use deception to attract players. Fairness. The games are fair. Promotions are fair. Terms and conditions are clear, and when there are problems, the outcome is fair. Yeah, so, well, this is all on Casino Meister's mission statement and philosophy page, um, which can be found here. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, sounds like I'm repeating myself because I've mentioned this sounds before. Like I'm repeating sounds myself. like I'm repeating myself because I've mentioned this before. I'm repeating myself because I've mentioned this before. It's all pretty basic, yeah. And it, you know, it can be applied to not only um, 
how to deal with players, but how to deal with your advertising partners or affiliates. Do not twist my noodle toy puddle! Yep, next topic. Recently there have been some outcry amongst the affiliates concerning affiliate programs changing their terms and conditions, which is fine and dandy, yeah. Every business reserves a right to change how they do business. Um, but where people are getting a little riled up or whacked out about is over retroactive changes in terms and conditions. This is some seriously bad shiza. Um, you don't need to make retroactive changes to already made agreements. Mm -hmm. If programs want to make changes, they need to contact their affiliates and give them a choice on how to proceed. I can relate to affiliate programs needing to tighten up their expenditures, but um, uh, there are other ways of doing this without jeopardizing their affiliate relationships. So, um, we've had a number of affiliate program representatives post in our private webmaster forum um, on how they have no intention whatsoever of making bad moves such as changing terms and conditions retroactively. Um, if you're a webmaster and not registered as a webmaster in our forum, uh, you need to do so right away, as soon as possible, and you get involved with this whole issue about terms and conditions or any issue whatsoever concerning affiliates or webmasters or whatever. Yep. Uh, so if you are not registered as such, get a hold of me and I'll square you away. And if you like beer, the Beer Fest is in full swing at Casino Meister. Each week we have a contest where we ask a question, and if you are the first person to guess this question right, well, <laughs> you win $50 worth of delicious Bavarian beer Ooh, delivered to your doorstep, or $50 in cash, eh, whatever you prefer. So, are you ready for this week's contest? Well, here it is. The question is, where is this place? What is this intersection famous for? This is a satellite photo of something many of you are familiar with and um, <clears throat> may have been mentioned in one of our newsletters. If you know what it is, beer can be yours. Either pop me an email. <laughs> Either pop me an email or post in our beer fest section of the forum. And if you are the first person to get this right, well, <laughs> hell, the beer is yours. So, anyway. There it is again in case you missed it or you're too wasted to use the reverse function of your browser. So, okay. So, anyway, put your thinking caps on and get busy. Um, other than that, that's all for this week. I'll be out all next week driving around in France some road trip we're taking. Yeah, it should be interesting. Uh, till then, adios amigos and be cool. Ich bin so am Blöd.